Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you nine things you didn't know about the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen, and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you, but today is a little bit different because I'm gonna help you out a little bit. I'm gonna share with you the nine things you might not have known about the Instant Pot. So if you're ready, let's get started. Number one, one of the most common questions I get is that why does my Instant Pot stink? So I have a solution for you. Now, if you take the lid off, when you're ready to store your Instant Pot, meaning you're putting it away for the day, instead of putting your lid back on and sealing all that stinky smell, you're gonna put your lid upside down and you're gonna store it just like this. That way, your sealing ring, which holds lots of the smell, will be able to air out a little bit, making it so your other food doesn't smell or taste like the thing that you cooked the time before. Number two, now this is not for the Lux model, and I'm sorry, but you might not have known that on your Duo, these little handles actually have a purpose, two purposes. You can take this little knob on the side of your lid and put it right inside of your handle. Instead of just putting your lid on the countertop or other places, this is the perfect place so it will be safe. Number three, Lots of people get really annoyed by the sound of their Instant Pot. So I'm gonna teach you how to turn off the little jingle. So all you have to do is, in order to turn off the sound, you wanna push the little negative or minus sign. You're gonna hold that down for three to five seconds. Now, as soon as you do, you can see that it says S and off. That means your sound is off. Now, if you want your sound back on, you can go ahead and push the plus button for three to five seconds and then your sound will turn back on. It will say S on. There you go. Number four, another commonly asked question is what does the L stand for after my Instant Pot is all the way done cooking? The L stands for lapsed time. So instead of saying like done, they're gonna put an L there so they can actually show you how long your Instant Pot has been done cooking. It makes it just easier for everyone. Number five. Did you know that you can proof bread in the Instant Pot? I mean, I am talking rolls, wheat bread, cinnamon rolls, which is one of my favorite things to make this time of year. Pr pretty much any type of rolls or bread you can proof in your Instant Pot. Now, if you need a recipe for that or someone to teach you how to do that, I'll put a link in the description for you. I've made some delicious rolls that I proofed right in the Instant Pot. Number six, we're gonna talk a little bit about the burn notice. I get a lot of comments that there is a burn notice only on my Duo. Well, to be honest with you, the Lux, the six quart Lux does not have a burn notice. It never says burn on it, but the Duo does. So if you have the Lux, chances are you won't ever hit burn and it will con still continue to cook. If you have a Duo or any other higher end Instant Pot, it will go to burn pretty quickly. Number seven, now a lot of times, I get a lot of questions about people saying, okay, you cook your chicken for 20 minutes, but I, I saw somewhere else that you only have to cook it for 15 or somewhere else you have to cook it for 25 minutes. To be honest, lots of times the Instant Pot is not exact times, it's more of like an educated guess on the Instant Pot. So if I say 20 minutes, you could probably do 17 up to 23 and you'll get the same exact result. I just like to stick right in the middle. That's, that works best for me. Number eight. One of my most favorite things to cook in the Instant Pot is yogurt. Now I have a recipe that's so easy. All you have to do is dump things in, put the lid on and walk away. That is, it really can't get much easier than that. You just have to have the duo with the yogurt function button. If you don't have the yogurt function, it just, it's not gonna work on your Lux. But if you have it on the duo, it's super simple. You throw all the ingredients in, you push the yogurt and you walk away. So if you want the recipe for that, I'll put a link in the description for you. Number nine, now if you are new to the Instant Pot and you just pulled it out, you might not have noticed that there is a sticker sitting in the front of your Instant Pot. So if you don't take it off, it will start to curl and get a little dirty. So I always like to peel it right off. There you go. All right guys, those are your nine things that you might not have known about the Instant Pot. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe so you won't miss any of my Instant Pot recipes. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.